Hi, this is Dr. Christina and Cora. And tomorrow is Cora's very first dog show ever. So today we have to get Cora all ready. keeps telling me to just you know have fun so <laughs> that's what we're trying to do is is have fun there's it's definitely really difficult to figure out what you're supposed to do and when you're supposed to do it even the process of like signing up for the dog show was a little bit confusing for someone who's doing it for the first time she is also doing her canine uh, canine good citizen certification today hopefully hopefully we will do that we're gonna try I think you're a good citizen. Yeah, I think you are. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you're so cute. Yes, you're so cute. I'm pretty sure that there are only like, there's only like one border collie competing against her. Yeah? Yeah, I think there's only one. So I th I'm pretty sure we're going to get first or second place because I'm pretty sure there are only two dogs. Yeah. All right, that's all for now. We have made it to Raleigh. We are here. Me and Cora. Yeah. Cora's pretty anxious because she doesn't like the car, and I'm anxious because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I'm realizing now that I should have, yeah, I know. Um, should have spent a lot more time talking to people who know what they're doing before showing up. So, noted. <laughs> um, most specifically, I don't know how to check in or if I need to check in. I'm pretty sure I just show up to my ring at the time that I'm supposed to and get my armband and go from there. Um, so that's what we're hoping is gonna happen. I got the judging program, so I'm gonna read that. I am back in the hotel room. We are all done for the day, and Cora did great. She was a very good girl. <laughs> she, um, she got first place out of one contestant <laughs> um, and then she got second place out of two contestants um, so it is what it is um, but she was very good she um, I, I was very worried about her sitting and she didn't sit she stood well um, so all of that was all of that was great and we also did our canine good citizen test today and she passed that with flying colors like it was wasn't even hard a couple of thoughts that I have on um, as a reflection of my first day um, ever doing a show is everyone was really nice. I don't know that I was expecting everyone to be mean or anything, but a couple times interacting with people, um, even like <clears throat> the other exhibitors, um, everyone was really nice to me. That kind of surprised me, which is kind of sad because I guess that means that I was expecting them to not be nice. Second thought is it's still really confusing <clears throat> to know where you're supposed to be and when, and I totally see after the first time you've ever done it, like now I know. I actually ha still don't know what competition <laughs> we were in, where we were the only competitor. Um, not sure, not sure, but we got first place. So here are our ribbons. Here we got first prize, woo! -hoo! American Kennel Club, Cary Kennel Club, and the date. And then this was our second place out of two, which uh, reserve winners. And so those are Cora's official ribbons. Cora, are you excited? He's like, whatever, mom, there's no sheep here. It is day two of the show. Cora is over it. Look, there she is. She's very anxious and she's not loving this. She keeps looking at me like, why are you torturing me, mom? Going on in about 30 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. And then she will be done. Yes, then she will be done. Laura is celebrating with a tasty puppuccino. Isn't that right? Yes. Were you a good girl? Yes. She won two blue ribbons. Two blue ribbons. Yeah. Mmm, tasty puppuccino. Yes. 
Yeah, you're so cute. Is your cute dog? Yeah. You want more puppuccino? Mmm, tasty. We are headed back to Burlington, back home. I am very tired. It's kind of strange how exhausting it is to hurry up and wait. I definitely know, I, I definitely understand a lot more than I did. Cora ended up getting two blue ribbons and two reserves. But when she got the blue ribbon, she was the only competitor in the ring. <laughs> and she got reserved, there were two. Uh, like literally it took absolutely no skill to do what we did. Um, but it also means that she didn't get any points to her title. <laughs> so I don't know if that motivates me more to do it, like to do more, or if it is makes me less likely to do more. We're not any closer to her being a champion than we were when we started. And so I haven't actually lost like I wouldn't lose anything if I stopped now because I didn't actually gain anything. I think that we might try out some other competitions, uh, maybe agility or fly ball or rally or barn hunt. And trick dog, she can totally do trick dog. That is gonna happen. Um, I don't know when, <clears throat> but she's gonna totally do trick dog. Cause she's so tricksy, 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 yeah. So I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I had this experience. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it again. I think that I'm definitely not gonna do it again without friends, like without going to a show on purpose with someone that is there to like actually support me. I realize that there's a very essential part of this video that's missing and that's the part where we were actually competing, but I didn't have anyone with me. So there was no one to film me running around the ring <clears throat> because I was running around the ring. Next time, I'm gonna get somebody to go with me and then film me running around the ring with Cora Bora. I really enjoyed spending a lot of time with Cora because she's the best. So, yeah, you're the best. Yeah, you're the best. You're the best. All right, that is all.